Hi everyone, welcome to our third day of our 10th week ng ating daily devotions. As you can see, I'm in front of our uh, fellowship center or Hebrews. And it's just so odd to be here uh, in this building. It reminds me of uh, who the true church is. Ito pong magandang pagapala sa atin ng Panginoon Diyos. This wonderful building is just a building without the church in it. Kasi tayo ang church. We are the church. Those who believed in Christ, those who are called out by Christ for His purposes, we are the church. And uh, I'm just I am blown away with that truth that any structure, gano mang kaganda siya, is just a building without the church in it. So, kagaya ng sinabi ko po sa inyo, I'd like to take you to different places of the church of this building so we would be reminded that um, we should be constantly praying and um, we should not stop in uh, being and living out our call to be the church the cold out ones called out from darkness into light death to life para isa buhay natin ito para sa kapurihan ng Panginoon Diyos right so it's just so uh, lonely without all of you here without the church here but as We've said we are going back to our uh, devotional, declaring His glory among the nations. And today brings us to 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 4. And this devotional was written by someone from Germany. And his name is, tinakulang kung kaya kong pronounce may ige, Thomas Wachtetter from the European Bible Training Center. And he'll be reflecting on 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 4. And the title of our um, devotion today is Faithful Perseverance in Afflictions. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 4. Therefore, we ourselves speak proudly of you among the churches of God for your perseverance in faith in the midst of all your persecutions and afflictions which you endure. And the devotion goes on like this. What comes out when God turns up the heat in your life through persecution? temptations, infirmities, or major disappointments? What is the light at the end of the tunnel for you? The exit? A train? Something more hopeful? In his second letter to the Thessalonians, Paul commends the believers for their exemplary character in the midst of trials. We do not know the, te the details of the trials, but it certainly involved personal hostility from their unbelieving countrymen. They receive this opposition not because of wrongdoings, but because the word of the Lord has sounded forth from them. What makes them such a wonderful example? If you look at the verse, you will note two outcomes, perseverance and faith. They were hard-pressed. They were squeezed. But instead of faltering, they grew in their faith toward God and their love for one another. How can that happen? You may ask. They injured because they had their eyes set on their only hope, Jesus Christ. They knew that home was still to come. Whatever trials you may be going through, whether it is persecution or personal troubles, know this. Jesus is the light at the end of the tunnel. He is in the midst of it all, refining your faith to bring about supernatural spiritual fruit. Trials test true faith, but true faith perseveres. Because the one in you is greater than the trial. The next time you face hardship, consider the example of the Thessalonians. Look ahead to Christ so that God will count you worthy of your calling. And I say amen to that. Uh, just recently, um, kahapon po, uh, as I've mentioned to you, I always pray uh, with uh, the Ask um, Ministry, the, our our prayer warriors and before we pray we sing um, beautiful hymns and songs kahapon po we were singing um, turn your eyes upon jesus right a wonderful wonderful song i was just reminded dun sa ating uh, um, devotion ngayon that we would be facing persecutions and afflictions lalo na ngayon di ba um, we, we find chaos in, in the United States diba? with the riot and the protests, violence, looting. Sa atin bansa naman, 
we, we find ourselves in a situation we're in, natatakot tayo kasi dahil sa banta nitong virus and then we have somehow opened the metropolis for uh, workers to go back to their jobs and natatakot tayo, nagugo tayo and we are, are, are concerned about the rise again of the number of people who are infect, infected by this virus. Um, reminder sa atin is that um, amidst troubles, persecutions, and afflictions, and, uh, and hardships in life, uh, dapat makitaan tayo na may perseverance and makitaan tayo ang hindi nag-waver ang ating faith. How would we do that? How would we persevere? Why would we persevere? And, and how would we grow in faith? If we focus our eyes on that end of it all, diba? if we focus our eyes on, on the beautiful uh, um, anticipation of being with Christ someday, that's what I shared with the Ask Ministry uh, yesterday, that, yeah, that's a wonderful song to be reminded of. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look forth to the, His beauty and grace, right? And the things of the earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. Kung tayo ay mamumuhay, even though we're here, sojourning, dumadaan lang, passers by, doing our best with God's grace to glorify Him as He um, allows us to be in on this earth. Um, but we have one focus, and that is to be with God someday. I imagine the, the impact that we would have uh, in wherever uh, and whatever situation we're in, right? So I, I pray that we would faithfully persevere um, in these trying times and if you struggle, if you get um, discouraged, and we will, we all have, diba? Focus your eyes on Jesus Christ. Focus your eyes on Jesus, the end result, the, the consummation of everything, right? And I was just sharing with them kahapon, ay, ang sarap siguro isipin na pagkatapos ng lahat ng ito, mayayakap po si Cristo, right? And ma ma kakanta mo siya, and you would see him face to face. Right? A wonderful reminder for all of us uh, amidst the whirlwind that we're in right now. We ought to be focusing our eyes on Jesus so that we would be persevering and remain faithful no matter what. Right? So, thank you again for joining me. And I, again, I pray that um, God would pave the way for us to be together again, um, to congregate, to be uh, worshiping God. Uh, sa magandang biyayang itong binigalab sa atin ng Panginoon Diyos. Right? So, shall we come to the Lord in prayer? Let's thank Him. Lord, we thank You for how we know that You're in control, how we know that we live in a fallen world wherein there are fallen people. We once were like them, Lord, but because of Your grace, You have saved us from our own self-love and our own um, damaging inclinations. We thank you, Lord, for that grace. And we thank you, Lord, that as we live our lives as your church, as your people, as the called out ones, we can look forward to the end. If we get frustrated, if we get discouraged, Lord, we can always look forward to the comfort that we would have when we see you face to face, when you come back for us. Salamat na marami na hindi kayo nagkulang at hindi kayo not in control. There was never ever a time that you were not in control. You're always in control, Lord. May this be a wonderful reminder for us so that we would persevere and that we would remain faithful. We thank you again, Lord, for, the, for this wonderful day. We pray that um, amidst the confusion, amidst the struggles, amidst the hardships, amidst, Lord, the uh, difficult times that we're in, we would persevere and we would be faithful, joyfully anticipating that, that wonderful time that you would come back for us. Oh, Panginoon, just maraming salamat po dito. 
I pray that you would use us in spite of us to glorify yourself all throughout the day. Thank you again, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Salamat sa pagsami sa akin. I'll see you all tomorrow. And let's see where we'll, uh, I bring you next. God bless you all. Bye.